It was an awesome time, quick one. Right in Vilandi, another one. Quick, simple, meet with the locals, learn a lot. And now, back here is, I think it's a school, like an high school over there of Vilandi. I don't know if it's an university, I don't know. Uh, my Vilandis and my Estonian people, if you know about this uh, town, let me know what kind of school is that. I think it's an high school. Forget to ask some of the people over there. So I'm walking down to the train station. I wanted to go to Valga, but I decided to uh, change the trip and head direct to uh, towards Riga this afternoon. So I have to cancel my ticket at the last minute. Hey, this is part of the game. Today, it seems like Panu would have been very lively because the weather is good. So maybe I might head to Panu today. Then from tomorrow, from Panu, head to Riga. So let's go. I'm going to the train station to catch the train. Velandi is a little bit big. You have to come to this other side also. This other side is beautiful as well. I was like vlogging more on the other side. But uh, until I walked down to the train station, I realized that this part is also beautiful. A lot of great parks, great garden in the town. It's beautiful, beautiful town. So don't hesitate to explore around. I was always told to be like this other side because the other side is where monuments are. So that is why I was like carried away to not walk to this side of the town. So don't hesitate to come to this side of the town as well. You get a lot of tin. Train station will be this way. So the train station is about 500 meters from here. Let's get to the train first and get to Panu. I think from Panu, I have to now go to Riga. Turn left on Baxali. Maybe I might stop in Panu to explore Panu with you for a day. Let's see how it goes. If the weather is good in Panu, as soon as I get there, maybe I might explore Panu. But if the weather is not good, because if the weather is warm like this, I might explore a little Panu, because Panu is a seaside city. So if the weather is not good, there is no reason for me to stay there, because it will make no sense. I cannot get the best of, I cannot give you the best of Panu when the weather is not good. It's a summer city. So this is where the train station is. I was a little bit like, mm, I wanted to visit uh, Valga, which I've already bought a ticket. But at the last minute, I changed my mind because I decided to go to directly to Riga or, or Panu because Valga is almost like this town, and this town is even more bigger than Valga. So I think there is no need again. I visited this one, so let me go and explore a much bigger city, or else just head to Riga to catch my flights.
think this is the train station. I think like they are re renovating the train station. They are renovating the train station. I think it might be part of the train station. So, this is the train station, right in the train station. I don't know which one is the train station, this one or this one, I don't know which one. If it's this one or this other one, let me ask these guys. Hello, this train station? Yes. Okay. Can I get ticket? Yeah, I think so. You can buy it inside. Yeah. Inside? Yeah. Okay. Maybe you can buy it from the train too, but I don't think they can sell it anymore. Oh, let me ask because I was trying to go to uh, uh, like a Riga, so I don't know if I can connect from here direct. Okay. Thank you. So this is the train station, it's a very small one, but it's a small town anyway. So, hello, yeah, I'm getting a, a ticket for train, yeah. no ticket, no. okay, in the train? No. Okay, thank you. So, then. No. Did I make a mistake? Uh, damn, I think I make a mistake. My, the train I was expecting, I think, is not here. Oh, it didn't give me the right... Uh, the right information, I guess. Wow. I have to wait now. I am the only person in the train station. Language barrier make me now to cancel my boss, thinking that I can be able to take a train here that will connect me to Panu uh, or direct to Riga. And when I get in here, I am seeing boss. I was thinking that it is train because of the written words. And uh, I was surprised because normally in 1525, the train will leave. That was what I thought, I understand. So when I get to the train station, there is no train. So I try to even ask people, they cannot speak to me, they don't understand English. I decided to stop a young boy, I think he's coming from school. Glory be to God, he speaks very good English. So he now told me now, he told me now that, hey, there is no train here, man. Because there is no train even going to Panu from Vilandi, except is going to Tallinn or maybe other big city, maybe Tatu from there, I can be able to reconnect. So I cancelled my ticket and I lost about 60% to 70% of the amount of money I paid, thinking I can just connect direct and go to where I want to go. This is also some of the experience of the life of a traveller. So now, I walked all these kilometers, stressing myself for nothing, language barrier. So whenever you're in Estonia, or even though you're traveling any part of the world, if you run into some difficulties, you want someone to direct you, 
you just focus on the younger people because the younger generation, they speak more English. There you can be able to like easily run into someone that can help you. And now I'm heading back to the bus stop to where I came from to now try to get a bus ticket over there and connect, try to connect and go to Riga or Panu. Let's see how it goes. I'm back to the center, man. So now I'm going to take my bus, going to look how I can be able to connect my bus to where I'm going, to Riga, because I find out that going to Valga, I feel that it doesn't really make it. So it because it is on the last minute I decided to change my plan. That is why I make this error. That is why it is good to always plan ahead, as I always do. But this one I decided to change on the last minute. And you see, this is what happened. So when you are in Ori, you make some simple mistake that you don't supposed to make. So plan always ahead and that is the best way so this is the bus stop so i think i can get bus ticket here i don't know if it's this way i don't know which way i'm at the bus i here going to tally tattoo i don't know which one so the best way is for me to go to Panu. So I've gotten my ticket. So now I'm heading to Panu. From Panu, head to Riga. So I'm waiting for my bus. I think it's going to be in platform five. This way to Panu. A little bit tired, but hey. We keep going. I think this is my boss. Yes. This one is going to Pano. Yeah, this is the boss. Here we go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> How are you? Nice. You footballers? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> you play for Vilandi? Yeah. Oh, great. What position you play? Uh, the... Huh? The, the left. Left. Ah, yeah. oh, okay. I think I saw you before. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you take the you you go to no, we go to Mexico. Ah okay. I met them in the park. These are the guys. I even forget they remember me. <laughs> remember me. Yes, I go to I go to Panu. I go to Panu. Yeah. Bye bye. It's almost filled up, a lot of people and direction. We go into Pano. Let's explore Pano, guys. I am Joel Tamara. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you will get notified of my upcoming videos. As I take you to every country on head. Until then, have a wonderful and inspiring day. Bye bye.